All right, prep update. It's been a while, fam. It's been a minute. With all the uncertainty um, currently at the moment, with the COVID restrictions, it's been very hard to commit to the comp. Um, obviously, we were due to go overseas this year. We'd set ourselves up last year for massive year and doing really well to compete at the world championships where em and i were absolutely gutted when obviously that was all um i guess cancelled due to what's going on in the world um it's out of everyone's control so yes then they've announced the australian pro show which we've looked forward to um something for us to work towards it uh, for me myself i love having a goal to work towards um uh, it, it's what drives me. Uh, I guess I'm super, super competitive and always have been from a from a young age. Uh, and I love having that structure. So now it's been pushed back to November here in the Gold Coast. Now we've just had a second wave um, of uh, a COVID outbreak. Well, uh, a relapse, I guess you can call it. Uh, Victoria is heavily affected, um, as you all know. Um, some suburbs of Sydney. And I'm really hoping that, that we don't get affected uh, up here in Queensland with the closure of gyms again, like they have down there, down south. So with that, all that happening, um, it's very hard. A lot of questions have been asked, is the Australian Pro Show still gonna go ahead? Um, if so, it's not really fair for the Victorian competitors and obviously some sub suburbs of Sydney. Um, and look, to be fair, um, I just touched base. We just had a check in this morning, Van Marie. Very nice. So we just did a check in with Emery, which we routinely do. Well, Matt's been routinely doing. I have been skipping out on that every two or so weeks coming into comp prep. And obviously, with this one, with so much uncertainty floating around with the whole COVID thing, um, that's probably it. There's a lot of uncertainty floating around with the whole COVID thing. So we understand that. All the WBFF competitors out there, and I guess IFBB, anyone who's competing, in it's uncertain times but for us we're deciding to business as usual full steam ahead with the process and it is what it is whatever happens down the track happens um if you sit there and fart ass around uh you could miss the mark uh, if it does go ahead so you you might as well accept it's going ahead in your mind and if it changes it changes everyone's going to be in the same boat and it is as I said, it's sort of out of, our, out of our control. So I've said I've been in like six minds about it over the last few months and that's probably why I haven't put the foot down as much as Matthew has. Um, but in saying that, we are in the best condition that we probably ever have been health-wise and body-wise, even with this whole COVID and isolation thing going down. So um, we could get ready in, you know, eight weeks if we had to. So. I am not going to cut my calories anytime soon. Matt's probably gonna do a little bit of a mini cut, add some cardio in, just for some structure. I think at the moment with anyone that is a athlete, like their year is governed by structure. You need to have a show or something like that. So um, especially for Matthew, he needs that date. Um, but I will talk about my situation a bit later on. But anyway, on as usual um if things change then we are going to aim for like more photo shoot type things and that's completely fine um coaching has really taken the priority this year which i love um so i'm not saying like i'm too busy to prep myself or anything like that i'm just saying that it's not the 100 percent priority because i feel so good in my off season right now
just been a lie. It has been really difficult for me to commit to this because I feel really good and with so much uncertainty it's like am I willing to put my body under that much stress again um, to compete against one person, to compete against two people, you know, so um, and I know it shouldn't be like that I should just be competing because it's what I love to do but then again it's such a hard road back from figure to get that lean to get that conditioned. We'll do it regardless. I'm obviously not gonna drastically do anything at this stage. It's really moderate approaches to a calorie deficit to bring down some body fat, maybe add in some cardio, and then just see how we go week to week. It's always gonna be a week to week thing anyway. You know, in any other given circumstance, it could be canceled for whatever reason. You know, I could get sick, I could pull out, you know, so I'm just gonna take it each week at this time. And see how it goes. I guess what, what's really been hard, and she won't mind me saying this and sharing it with you guys, is Em's really struggled with this this year. And the reason being is she's so damn focused on business. We both are, um, and it's it's we've been so fortunate, so lucky. Uh, it's really boomed in this last two years, especially this year, even with everything that's happened. So we're very, very grateful for that. And it's really been a priority, I guess, in training, and that's sort of taken a bit of a back back seat um, and that happens okay so for her it's just it's very hard and I've, I've watched a battle with it the probably this whole year what's going on she's just like I'm on an iron her head's not there training intensity's been off um, again only because she's focusing so hard with um, with business and it's obviously consumes a lot of our time and our life uh, and energy but for her it, it's funny because even for her speaking about not competing, it's a strange feeling for me because we've, ever since I've started, uh, we've competed together and I've always had that support. And people always ask like, how do you find prepping together? Because sometimes it can be a nightmare, but to be fair, when your partner's there doing it with you, when I struggle, she's got my back and she, she pushes me through. And it's, it's likewise, when she's struggling, I'm there getting her out of bed, I'm there helping her get cardio, um, meal prep, and given her that we feed off each other. So when it's just one of us, um, I, I guess I, I, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's uncharted territory for me because I'm not gonna have that support. Um, well, I will have that support, but she won't be going through the process with me. So it's been a little bit of like testing times for us both and um, that whole idea I was a little bit, um, I guess, nervous about um, because I guess when she's there going through it with me, it's easy, we're both locked in, we're both just like, blinkers are on and we, we're just animals and we chew it up. And uh, if, if it's not the case, it's me just doing it. I, th I know deep down I can do it um, because I, ha I have that mindset, but at the same time, I will be, I will be honest. And if she was to go out and, and socializing with friends, which she loves, like, and I'm at home, like it definitely would get to me because I get FOMO so bad. Um, but again, like it's just something if that was to happen, I'd have to, to adapt, change my mindset and, and deal with that. But um, I guess it's awesome being able to share that with all you guys. I that's where our head's at at the moment. And we have been struggling uh, uh, motivation wise. Um, and, and I guess, as I said, training, tra nutrition has been bang on. Like I'm not going to say, as I said, with the healthiest and best of look, Em's eating the most calories she's ever has. Um, her body's like the best, she's leanest she's been, um, the healthiest she's been in terms of her, her skin, her, her hair, her, uh, her hormones. Um, so the only thing that's really been difficult is training. Like we've, like compared to what we've done in previous years, training's just always been priority. Uh, we've smashed it, intensity's always been there and we've had a few little niggling injuries and we've, some weeks we've only got three sessions in, but but we're still, we're still ready to roll. So it just goes to show you like, um, you don't need to be flogging it all the time. Um, but yeah, that's where we're up to in prep. I'll, I'll, otherwise I'm gonna keep rambling on guys and we don't want that. Um, but yeah, stay tuned because we're gonna have this journey no matter what, whether we just train and we get really lean and we're shredded for summer and do photo shoots, uh, you're still gonna see this journey over the next, we'll say 14 weeks.